Hello and welcome to video number six. We're going to talk about organizing and importing emails into MailJet.com. So we're going to be organizing the emails in a spreadsheet. And then we're going to import the emails into MailJet.com. Pretty easy to implement, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, step number one is to organize your spreadsheet, which contains the leads and subscribers, the email addresses, and the names. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do. You can do first name, last name, email address, or you can simply do email address alone without the first name, last name. But uh, that's up to you. You can Put the first name, last name, email address. So basically have it first name, last name, email address, just email address alone, do whatever you want. But it needs to be saved as either a text file or a CSV file and you need to know and remember where you save that file. So if I click on save as here, go down here, I'm gonna click on CSV, click on save, go to mailjet.com, click on contacts up at the top here, scroll to the right, click on create a contact list. We're gonna go ahead and call that A specific name click on save and continue and at this point you can enter your contacts so you can either enter your contacts here or we're gonna choose a file here make sure that you remember where the file is located click on open click on save and continue and there we go. Mailjet wonderfully will automatically detect your contacts and add them to the list. And as you can see here, it's added it to the list. And what I like about Mailjet is whatever email that you've added, it will actually tell you how many times that email address has been contacted. So if that person is on your other list, then you can have an overview of what emails that person has been sent. You can manage them, you can delete them. You can also unsubscribe them if you want to do so. And whenever you see blue, that means that somebody unsubscribed. So you can either unsubscribe somebody or they can unsubscribe themselves. And that's it. Let's move on to the next video and start creating campaigns.